Thank you so much for speaking with us today. For starters off, let's kind of get to know what your title is, your name, and how you kind of got the job here at Radford University. Okay. Well, I'm Dr. Jennifer Walton, and I am the, school, the Director of the School of Communication. And um, I'm coming from Ohio Northern University, where I'd been a department chair for about eight years. And uh, I kind of term limited out and was kind of just feeling a little restless, you know, looking for looking for a challenge. And uh, I just kind of, without even looking, I just kind of happened upon uh, this job opening and was kind of looking through, you know, what they were looking for. And I was like, oh, well, I can do everything that they asked for. So I, I took a shot and mm -hmm. applied and here I am. Yeah. So let's talk about some of your previous academic, I know you're coming from a few other uh, schools. Let's talk about yes. previous titles you've held there and kind of how that's helped you to come, to, to come where you are right now. Okay. Well, uh, I got my undergrad and my master's degree at Indiana State University. So I am originally from Indiana. And uh, my undergrad, I was a speech and theater education major. Okay. Um, however, I never planned on being a high school teacher. <laughs> uh, I wanted to be a college professor who knew how to teach. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I went the education route and then I stayed and got my master's degree. And took a few years off and um, I taught public speaking at an Indiana University branch okay. um, for a few years and decided that it was time for me to get my doctorate. So I uh, decided on Bowling Green State University uh, in Bowling Green, Ohio, and it was just a perfect fit. Everything just really seemed right, mm -hmm. and um, while I was there, I was the assistant basic course director. So I, I planned uh, all of the curriculum and everything for the basic communication course. So public speaking, you know, things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that set me up really nicely uh, for my first job. I got hired at Ohio Northern University right out of grad school. So I had the job before I even graduated. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was there for 15 years and, you know, I, I really loved it. I uh, got a lot of wonderful opportunities. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, as I said, I was department chair for eight years and um, never really thought I wanted administration. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of times people are surprised when they, when they like it, yeah. but um, I'm a problem solver okay. and, uh, and a strategic thinker. Alrighty. So, and those things uh, seem to come in handy yeah. when you're in an administrative role. Yeah. So. so you talk about being in an administrative role. What has been some, I guess, talk about some pros and cons in that, because I know that it's not just coming in an office mm -hmm. working eight to five, because there's like, you know, we, we had a meeting earlier, you know, something like it. What's been yeah. some of the benefits of that? Um, well, <laughs> I, I love teaching, mm -hmm. absolutely love teaching. And so I'm very lucky because I do still teach a class mm -hmm. here. Um, and I really thought that I would, uh, you know, if I wasn't teaching, you know, three or four classes, you know, that mm -hmm. um, I would really miss it, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, I do. But in an administrative role, you get to help students in other ways. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the whole point of a university is to help students excel, help them learn. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you're an administrator, you know, pretty much everything that you do is ensuring that students have the best opportunities and can be marketable when they get out of college. Yeah, for sure. I know that's kind of a, a lot of people when they hear administrating like, oh no, I, you know, like, should I go bother? Should I? But yeah. you know, that's why your purpose mm -hmm. is here to reach yeah. out to help those who need that. So of course, uh, let's get on a little more, I guess, of a lighter note question. So how's family, friends been supportive of the move? How, how's everything been going for you? Uh, everyone has been extremely supportive. So uh, my family is still located in Northern Indiana. Mm -hmm. Uh, and really the only person that I was concerned about was my niece. My mm -hmm. niece is uh, just 10 years younger than I am. Mm -hmm. We grew up like sisters. Mm -hmm. And uh, as long as she was good with it, then, <laughs> <laughs> then I, I knew that, uh, you know, I could definitely um, take the job and, and feel good about it. Um, and when I interviewed, in fact, she even sent me a care package, okay. you know, with, you know, uh, all kinds of, you know, relaxing essential yeah. oils yeah. and you know, all <laughs> kinds of things uh, and a note that says you got this. And so that was, 
that was wonderful because then I knew that she really did uh, support this this decision. Yeah, that's awesome to always have. Like you said, you just like a close sister to you, and she's yeah. there to care for you. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So now let's get back to some of the serious notes here. Of course, how, in what ways, of course, you're serving here in Hempel Hall, but how in other ways do you plan to interact with the other uh, deans or maybe some of the other colleges here and around campus? Well, something that is very important to me is, um, you know, interdisciplinary studies. Mm -hmm. You know, getting to know the other colleges, getting to know the other departments, and, um, you know, trying to have a working partnership uh, across, across the university and, you know, within um, the College of uh, Humanities and Behavioral Sciences as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm trying to get around and, you know, talk to as many people as I can. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there's, um, there's a lot of connection uh, and history between uh, communication and the performing arts. Um, in fact, you know, my last couple of jobs, you know, had communication in a performing arts center. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so uh, even though that's kind of an older model, mm -hmm. you know, there's still connections that can be made and, you know, partnerships um, that can benefit from, from that history. Mm -hmm. So, and, you know, when you have a school that has public relations and advertising, you know, there's some partnerships that you can have with, mm -hmm. uh, with business and economics. Mm -hmm. So communication uh, is, is such a wonderful discipline because it can fit in a lot of different areas. And, right. uh, you know, you can, you can really work with, um, you know, so many colleges, schools, departments across the uh, Across the university. Absolutely. And like I said, no, we're not only just one college, I guess we've got multiple, we've got communication, philosophy, yeah. social science, whatever it all is. Yeah. There are a lot of people who can kind of grip uh, their uh, heads around that and say, oh, okay, if this is not right for me, I can go yeah. here and so forth. So exactly. obviously, as we're just beginning into the upcoming start of the semester, are there any other, I guess, uh, any events possibly coming up that you're, you can kind of maybe share with us that you and your staff are working on or that kind of still in the phasing planning stage out yet? Uh, we have a lot in the planning stages. Okay. However, homecoming is coming up. Okay. And we are going to be uh, welcoming public radio uh, into the building. And, uh, you know, we have some plans um, revolving around that. Uh, but as far as other plans, it's it's pretty early. Gotcha. And, yeah. you know, everyone's <laughs> kind of batting some ideas around, but gotcha. nothing is, you know, set in stone gotcha. just yet. Obviously. Well, that, that's the perk of coming to the job like that. you got to make sure you have a yeah. balance and plans with that. So we're going to start wrapping things up here on a little bit of a lighter note. Of course, you've been, uh, you're from uh, part of the Midwest uh, area as well. So what has been the uh, comparison? Let's talk about what's been your favorite part of here, not only here at the University, but Radford, the New River Valley, because I know part in the Midwest, it's more, you're, I guess you're not as mountainous as the way oh. I'm trying to say. So what's been a, so far a favorite spot of yours, not only here on campus, but around yes. the area? Well, before moving here, the the biggest hills that I ever encountered were overpasses. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm from a very flat part of Indiana, right. a very flat part of Ohio. Right. And uh, so kind of learning to, to drive in the mountains has been uh, a new challenge. I'm, I'm starting to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. And, uh, but my, my all-time favorite part about uh, this area and the job is the people. I, I just cannot say enough about how kind and welcoming everybody has been. Mm -hmm. So, you know, every day I am reminded that I made the right choice yeah. because I, I everyone is making me feel like I'm part of the Radford family. Yeah, and we, like I said, we, we're, we appreciate you. We're glad that you are here. <laughs> and once you are a Highlander, you're always a Highlander. Yes, so yes. That's the perk of it. And something we talked about before coming on, you're right next to Starbucks, so your office is kind of, you get the view of yes, Starbucks over there. Yes. And we'd mentioned something about maybe getting a conveyor belt served yeah. from there with your favorite order. No. Yeah. But uh, we'll see how that all goes up. But I uh, appreciate you. Thank you so much for allowing us oh, to come in. You. And we wish you the best. If there's anything that we can do, we'd be more than happy to uh, inform you and uh, vice versa. We're looking forward to having you here with us this year. Oh, thank you. Thank it was you. my pleasure. Thank you.